Let's go. So it's me. Me and Max are split. Nico, ACCM, Lux and Paladin, and then me and Max are split. Koreans! Fat Ram, thank you for gifting a sub to Bjorn Ironside. I am Ragnar, your Lodbrok, your Fala. Mongols, Persians, Malians, they actually have insane sieves. They actually have insane sieves. Holy cow. We have Koreans, can't complain. Right, gotta sit properly. So we have. Lithuanians pocket, Franks and Koreans blanks. Fatram gifting us up to Combat Wombat as well. Thank you very much, Fatram. Going hand with the gift subs, eh? Koreans nice. Well, compared to their subs, not the greatest, must admit. So they have Mongols, Persians, Malians. All three subs are great flanks and great pockets. Yabu dabu do! Thank, um, thank you to Fatran for gifting us up to you. Their sieves are okay. Fatran is going ham! Oh, Joe, more Joe! Joe Exotic! God, every time I see Joe now, it's all Joe Exotic to me. Thank you, Fat Ryan, for all the gift subs, dude. I watched the last, the newest episode of the Tiger Show, Tiger King, uh, this morning. It was just a podcasty interview. It wasn't, wasn't, I was hoping it would be of the same caliber as the others, but it wasn't. It was just like a podcasty interview thing. Yeah, interesting though. Carol Baskin. Chat, do you think she did it? That's the question on everyone's minds, right? Yes? Guys, be nice. Say whether you think she's a murderer with respect, please. Please be respectful in your statement of whether she is a murderer or not. You think it was T90 who did it? Actually, the more I think about that, the more it starts to make sense. Why am I against Lux as Persians? I'm probably gonna get douched. I'm as Lux Persh, probably gonna get douched. Like the reason I think this is because he scouted me so soon. Well, it's not so soon, it's five minutes. I guess there is a chance he's not douching me, but <laughs> wouldn't count on it. They have Mongols pocket. Debbie will feed me to Eustace if I don't behave. <laughs> oh boy. I will win that fight. Stop. Don't stop. Moving. Let me lure my deer in peace. Oh, that's a uh, Kappa Pride question right there. Kappa Pride. Frank's Archers from Nico. No, uh, Max is Malins, I think. Their pocket is Paladin as Mongols. Why am I making militia? That's not my plan. It's ACCM. Okay. I have one more zebra. Zebra! But let's not be too greedy here. I have a back goal though, that can come in handy. What? No, I wasn't going to make. Well, now I'm committed. Now I am committed. 
필기 나는 동군 필기 묵시 나는 동군 필기 채집군 자유 채집군 필기 준비 예 채집군 필기 채집군 필기 나는 자유 필기 자유군 God damn it! What is this? Wait, did I not make? I didn't make one last shot true. I don't even have berries, but I'm gonna have to tower to get berries. I guess I will counter attack with my militia. So much for just going archers and enjoying game. Like I need to have my berries. No way around that. I need to get that food. Does he not notice this? Because these guys are going ham. I don't think he has noticed. Impressively enough. My militia? The Korean men at arms, guys. Who would have thought? Am I not getting a single. There's a douche. Well, at least we did some damage here. I could have tried a tower there, but it doesn't make sense. I'm just gonna let that go, probably, and build a new TZ somewhere else. I have. I have. Uh, Oh, I need an archer range, actually. I have... I'm trying to find words to speak right now, but it's hard with the current circumstances. But... I'm not behind him. I have enough stone to do towers in case he goes for a further douche uh, as well. Question now is where do I put my TC? Maybe on that side of the wood line? Maybe up on the hill here? Farming. Well, that's not very nice. That one I can't allow. If I get double here, actually, that's really bad for me. Not to have a double happening right now. Yeah, 
Oh god. Where is my guy? This is going good for us, actually. Okay. That went pretty well. Yeah. I still don't have a town center. <laughs> this is an annoying place that looks fun to watch. I don't enjoy it. I do not enjoy it one bit. These villagers are very low in HP. I would love to get a town center up somewhere. I'm thinking about doing a market first and then a TC. But uh, I'm not sure if that makes sense actually. I will definitely castle drop. Looks in castle age. Okay, let's go. Just drop a TC here. Okay, I'll do a market next, and I will buy my way to castle age, and then war war uh, war wagons. So I'll have a lot of gold, not a lot of food. They can send me wood even though I don't have a market. Uh, only they need to have a market to send resources. But I think it's better that they play be strong themselves. Because I'm already so far I'm slowed down compared to them. It doesn't make sense to invest resources for them into me, so to say. Uh, better that they make sure they can deal with their own guys and take it from there. Did you miss the TC rush? rush? Yes, very much you did. It's a little bit scary. Don't have, I actually have zero food income. How many villagers here? Let's make like five farms. So I'm a little bit scared about knights. I'm gonna wall this in. Like that. Perfect. And like I said, I want to do a castle drop, like probably there, just to wipe him off the face of the earth. So I was looking here. This looks okay. Looks good. Well, somewhat good. I think it's looking good there. I'm gonna lose that army, but could be worse. I have way too many on gold actually. I'll use my gold bills to build the castle. So it should be fine. Why is he taking wood then? If he's not using this. Oh, you guys are not supposed to be number one. Okay. 
Is he trying to douche him? Oh, those towers. So that's where the villagers were. Viper, who is your top 5 OC players of all time except you? No idea. Uh, Doubt would be in there for sure. I would say Cab would be there for sure for me as well. Um, I cannot really do... like I'm not the right person to judge that because I haven't been around the scene long enough to have a say on the classics, so to say. I don't know enough about the likes of uh, Grand Halen, um, Grand Halen, who's the uh, Arch Coven, etc. I don't know enough about those guys to be able to say anything. So question now is, do I go full meme and want TC war wagons to kill Lix, or do I try to get eco up and contribute to the team? I'm probably going to be responsible and support the team. I would say. But we'll add bouncers and such. I mean, we're running some pretty damn tanky. I can for sure help out here. No question about that. I'm glad to take some free spearmen in along the ride. This is bad though, our pocket is taking damage. Okay, he's not looking great there. Or... Their pocket. Nick of dual market now. There's the market. Which douche is stronger, Cumas double or Persians? Persians. Cumas douche is honestly too expensive to justify. Like, I don't think you should ever do a double douche with Cumas. Maybe you can do a second TC douche, but never a douche with the idea of I'm gonna use both town centers to douche my opponent. That doesn't work. Can I steal his farm, sir? Oh, ACCM, no. AC. Something is looking great here for us. Stolen farms. Let's go. It's not looking great at all. Not too much I can do here to support this either. That's the worst part. question now is, will Nico be able to kill Max? Nico should have a good lead on Max. The, only, like, the reason Max has high scores is probably because of kills. So we got a... Oh god, what is this? 
One, two, three. How many bills did I even lose there? Jesus Christ. I didn't hear an alarm bell. I think it played off there, but I just didn't pay attention. I was busy talking to you guys. That was not, not good by me at all. When you know when you know that one of them is super dead, it's not a great sign when you're not top scorer. Your team, that is. I think I need a fourth town center, honestly. I think I just have to go full boom and try to get to imp so I can help my team. The way it is right now, I think we will just die. I don't know where those are. It is a 3v2, yes, but ACCM got super wrecked just now. So ACCM is pretty much... It's gonna be so far behind Paladin that we need to hope Nikov has enough to... But now we're counting on Nikov to dominate on his side and buy enough time for us to get back into the game. The thing here is, we have a big advantage in terms of if we survive. And we have an advantage. But we need to survive. That's gonna be a tough part. I don't know where those um, archers are. I wonder if they're still behind our base. Because Lux is gonna take forever to get back into the game. So we just have to survive. This guy, man. I swear to God. The bright side here is that Paladin invested a lot in terms into uh, to raiding ACM. That his imp should be slowed down, and also that means since he's Mongols, since you spend so much gold on knights and castleage, your Mangudai production is gonna start struggle with that because of that. So it might not be looking too bad right now. 67 vills for me. I will be back. I will be like be able to contribute as well. Uh, not too long. I will go full war wagons probably. I'm gonna do one siege workshop just to clean, make it more forward. Max's imp, but hopefully Nico is doing enough there. But Max's imp doesn't matter much. Nico will kill all. Hope, we hope so. Okay, I'll start producing again. Okay, we'll market to Nikov. And hopefully Nikov buys enough time. And Paladin is still castled. He invested a lot into that. I'm starting to believe. I'm starting to believe. In a thing called love. Yeah, we need to trade my side actually. I don't even know. Paladin is in. Actually, I actually think ACCM is up. So it's, it should be looking good for us now. I think maybe Nico has to go. Where is his army? Does he have army? I think Nico has to go axe throwing. Axe throwing axe. What are they even called? Axe throwing axemen? <laughs> throwing axemen. Where do I drop my next castle? Probably forward someplace. Yeah, I hope he hasn't taken this. Good. And I will drop it on this hill. Oh. I already started trade. That's interesting. I will definitely try to impact that. Yeah. 
Maybe he was chilling behind somewhere. Ha! I am the strongest. Oh, hello there. No trade for you, Lix. So in theory, we can trade on my side then. Or are you gonna start trade? Yeah, I think they bought enough time with that. Nickel seems to be doing really well. So he's buying enough time for ACCM to be contributing. And that again translates into me having enough time as well. So all is looking good right now. We also will have most of resources of looks, I would say. I'm gonna build a castle in the corner here, uh, market. Yes. Gotta get the relics to your Lithuanian ally, boys. That's how it works. Looks score a little. Oop, makes sense. When you're facing the Viper. <laughs> Send you what I can, what I have. Oh, hello. Hello there, Max. Hello, they're sharing. Look, this is the ultimate team. This is proper teamwork, right there, guys. Everyone is getting a little bit of a little bit of everything. Dude, it's not market exploit on purpose. I made these because I wanted to trade over there. It wasn't on purpose. I think I have enough bills. All that good stuff. Are you Polish? I am not Polish. We actually haven't scouted Paladin's base at all this game, which is weird. Normally, every, everyone has their base somewhat scouted at this point in the game. Yeah, you can have. You can have it. They don't need it. They're buying enough time. I'm just setting up for proper, proper, proper late game. Ooh. Castle there. Trader. <laughs> Lix doesn't even, he's not even castlage, so he cannot have caravan. I wonder if he's even slinging now. Does he even have wills at this point? Who knows? I want to get he's microing this trigger like a beast. I'm gonna leave these guys here, so I can sneak them into their trade in a bit. But now I'm fully up and running. So I have a hard time seeing us losing this. Do you think douching is a viable strategy? Um, very, 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 very rarely. In this case, what did Lux do? He died himself. 
but he took me down with him to a certain extent. He stole me down. For Dushin to be viable, your allies need to win the game. And Max didn't have a lead on Nikov, as far as I understand. And Paladin wasn't far ahead of ACM either. So. I don't really know why we're playing at the moment, to be fair. I think the game is pretty obviously over. Still turned out fairly interesting, considering that we got douched. It might be a good lesson how to deal with the douche as well, or minimize the damage. Just let him take your town center and make a new one somewhere else, as the game goes on. Oh, Lix! Hello there! Oh, we have found Lix, boys. Lix is actually Castle Age, who would have thought? I actually didn't realize he had armor. I want more castle. I have a ton of stone. Maybe slim to Castle Age? There's a chance, but I don't think so. Do I go for the towers now, or do I stick with more castles? I have five castles, I don't need more production than that, right? I can just go for towers now. Now I can start memeing it up. Got gold in the middle there. Time to dominate. Actually, I'm gonna send builds to build towers for Nika. Because I'm sure having a couple towers there will help. It's also free kills. Oh. That was still an interesting game, all things considered. What is a good counter to the war wagon? Siege Ram. Siege Ram with some damage dealing unit like Habadiers or Paladin or Elite War Elephants. Viper, do you know how ranking system work? Is it only depending on winning your points? Winning all your points in the game is important too. The in-game stats has nothing to do with how much ELO you're getting or losing. It's all about the result and outcome of the actual game. The in-game rank score has nothing to do with it. Paladin was what? No axe throwing. I'm disappointed Nico didn't go axe throwing thingies. That would have been his way. Lix, 50 villager high. Hope you enjoyed the game. He must have had a lot of fun. This guy. This guy is one of a kind. One of a kind.